In this free Flash ActionScript 3 source file download, I teach everybody how to use Flash VARs to send multiple variables into Flash and uh, access the variables uh, key value pairs coming in, parse them out, and display them separately. And uh, I'm in CS3 working here, but you can be in CS4. Both will run ActionScript 3 and both will run this file when you download it from developphp.com under our flash tabs uh, but let's take a look at it first in the browser and here it is on the page at developphp and you'll see that I have item ID value is 438 and item code value is a bunch of jumbled letters that I just put on the page and I'll show you that page right now here and this is the the structure of the zip file that you're going to download there's the FLA file, the SWF file, the index.php file which is the important part here and a readme file and in the PHP file we'll open that in Dreamweaver and you can see here I have let's maximize this you see here I have those the ID is 438 and there's those jumbled numbers and you see how I'm using flash bars here to send them in. I print the ID and the code. And you can see it has a value or a key of item ID for that first one. And item code is the key for the second one. That's why you see rendered out item ID here and item code. And there are the values. So there's proof that it's working. And uh, let's show you the PHP file first. Uh, what it is is this is just the basic file that flash renders out when you press to publish a uh, your uh, flash file you know how it, it it renders out an HTML page I just turned it into a PHP page I put this little PHP block of code on top to put up two variables and yours would be dynamically rendered variables but mine are static just for testing and the creation of this tutorial but yours can be database rendered variables or date variables, numbers that you gather from statistics or whatever you want. You send it into Flash. And so the first step is to put it into the ACFL run content code, the JavaScript code, the Flash vars, and it goes under the source uh, attribute there. Put Flash vars, and I'm not even going to tell you what you have to put there because you can just go and download the source files and you'll see this is a working application 100 percent you put it on a PHP ena enabled server and it's just gonna work and here we have to put it into the object code the object tags we put a parameter for flash bars there and also we put it into the embed tag flash bars goes right after the source attribute see flash bars print we print both variables in and flash parses them out nicely and we'll take a quick look at the code here if you need any help with this code, join our forums at Develop PHP, and we'll discuss it. We'll start a conversation about it, expand upon it, change it up if you need it changed up, whatever you want. But uh, first, we claim the offset value because each text field you'll see can't be sitting on top of each other. So we render it out in the loop. We have to offset each one so it has spacing, and they're not sitting on top of each other when rendered out. And then we claim the key string variable as a string for flash and then we claim the value string variable as a string as well and the param object is created uh, and it loads in the root parameters coming in from flash bars the parameters from flash bars are coming into the root level of this document this flash document and that's how we access them with the param object here then we just set some formatting for the text fields because I wanted them nice and big and a format font of Verdan and then uh, here's the loop this loop is the magical part that renders all the variables out for you and will access the key and value pairs and that's the end of it so get these source files if you want to know how to use flash vars to send multiple variables into flash at runtime very useful co for content management systems or member websites if you have audio networks video networks it's really useful stuff okay see you next lesson guys